Hello and welcome to the tutorials by LV Mountain Lion and Persian tutorial. This tutorial will be showing you how to make these characters on any loom that you have because this works in a staggered config configuration where the top pin bar is a little bit higher than the two outer pin bars. So you should be able to do this on just about any loom that you have. And in this tutorial, I do this, the mountain lion, but I'll tell you what colors go where if you're doing Persian. And then if you enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe. That really helps us out and gives us encouragement. And then comment on what Pokemon or animal you'd like next. So let's begin with the tutorial now. So let's begin with the legs. Make sure that your red arrow is pointing away from you and then take three brown bands. If you're doing Persian, then take three tan bands. And then we're gonna put it from the first peg to the second peg. And we're gonna do this four more times with three bands. Two. Three. Four, five. So then you should have five sets of three bands. Brown if you're doing the mountain lion, tan if you're doing Persian. And then just if you want to take a hook and then even everything out so it looks a little bit nicer. And then Take a single band and we're going to cap this off three times. One, two, three. Turn your limb around, go underneath the cap band and grab those three bands. Make sure that the cap band does not come off and hold it on. And then just loop up your loom. Then take a hook and peel this off the loom. Then go back and make three other legs until you have four. So now let's go on to the ears. If you're doing the mountain lion, take a single double looped brown band and put on your loom. If you're doing the Persian, take a tan band. Then take another brown or tan band and put it right here. Then take a single white band, double loop it if you're doing the mountain lion. This should be brown if you're doing Persian, and put it right here. And then for both creatures, this next band will be black. Put it just like that. And then take another black band. And then cap this off four times. One, two, three, four. Turn your limb around, go underneath the cap band, and grab that double looped band. And then grab the other double looped black band, and then the white one. Then do the brown on each side. And then take this off the loom. Then get another hook and put that on there. And then go back and make one more ear so that you have two ears as shown. Now we're going to work on the tail. Take two brown bands if you're doing the mountain lion or two tan bands if you're doing Persian and we're going to do this seven times up the loom. So that was one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. And then if you're doing potion, just put another two bands on top of that one. But if you're doing the mountain lion, then you're going to take two black bands instead of tan for the last one. So shoot it out. You should have eight of these right here and they should be two bands. They should be all tan if you're doing potion and then seven brown and one black if you're doing the mountain lion. And then take a black cap band, single band for the mountain lion tan if you're doing potion and we're gonna wrap this around here three times. One, two, three. Turn your loom around, go underneath that cap band, and then grab the two bands and then work your way up the loom. Then Put this on a hook for later. Now we will begin working on the body. For Persian, take two tan bands. If you're doing the mountain lion, the whole body except for the muzzle is going to be brown. So two bands. Two bands. Two bands. And now we're gonna go out from here and start doing the shoulders. Okay, so I forgot to add a little piece into the video. That's how to get the red gem on Persian's forehead. So I'm just introducing this little message in to show you how to do it. So first, take a single red band, loop it around your hook four times. One, two, three, four, and then take a single brown band and you're just going to pull those red loops onto that brown band. Then kind of move it out so that it's in the middle. And of course, if you're doing potion, you're going to want to make this brand tan. And then you're going to place it either end on this peg and on this peg. And then kind of scooch it into the middle. And then when you're looping up this band right here, you're going to loop it up like this and then have and try and pull out this red gem once you're done. So that's how to get the red gem on top of her whole forehead. Now we're going to go down five times on either side and in the middle with two bands. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then the same thing on the other side. Two, three, four, 
five and in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to go down one more time in the middle and then we're going to um, connect these two sections together or these three sections together by going diagonally across of two bands and same thing here. Now take your tail and we're going to put it right here and wrap the bands around that peg like so then take two bands and we're going to make the triangle like this with two bands another two bands and all these bands the holding bands and everything will be tan for Persian Everything from this point on will be tan. Now the two bands. And another two bands. Now, turn your loom around. Pull the tail back. Then go under and grab the top two bands and loop them back onto themselves. And then do the same thing for the next two, for the next top two, and then get the last ones. Now, let's just loop up the entire middle section right now. And then now, take your hook that has the feet on it, and then start to loop up this band right here, but then slide on your feet onto it, just like so. And this foot should be pointed up towards the face, so it's curved like that. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take that band, slide this onto it, like so. And then we're going to continue looping up until we reach this peg on either side. So let's start with this side. Don't grab the holding bands. And then just keep looping. And on the other side. And now, start to loop up this one, and then slide that foot onto it. Start to loop this up, and then slide the foot onto it. And now we're going to loop right here and here. And now for one of the most difficult parts of the project, you're going to go and find the top two bands, which for me is right here, pull back all these other bands here. And then grab those two bands. And then grab the next two bands in here. 
and then the last two. Now let's put on the ears before we forget. So these ears are wrapped on your hook very tightly. So what you probably want to do is go section by section and then grab so grab these first set of loops. There should be about two loops right here on this first set. And then just put it on. And then release your hook from there. Grab the next two sets. Put it on. Make sure this stays on your hook. Next two sets. And this is just normally wrapping around it, but we're just going section by section since it's so tight. The next set. Then grab and put on these last two sets. And then the last one, which shouldn't be too difficult. Like so. You might want to turn your limb around if it helps. And then do the same thing on the other side here. First set. So it's on my hook like this. Next set, next set, and well, then take your time if you're doing this, I can just go in a little bit faster, so if you need to pause the video. Like so. Now. Actually, keep your loom turned around like this. Go to the, somewhere around the bottom of your loom here. We're going to take a double looped brown. If you're doing the mountain lion, the whole muzzle is going to be tan if you're doing Persian. And then take another double looped. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's just take a black now, double looped black. Then double looped black right here. Double looped black right here. Now we're gonna take a double looped white. I'm gonna put it from here to here. And then same thing on the other side. Double looped right here. And then we're gonna cap this off four times with a white band. Tan if you're doing Persian. One, two, three, four. Four. And then take a black band, double loop it. We're gonna put it across like this. Form your triangle from this peg, this peg, to this peg. Turn your limb around. Go underneath the cap band and grab the top double looped band. Then grab the next top double looped band. And then the last one. And then the brown. Sorry, the black, and the black again. Start to take this off your loom. Put this on a hook. Get everything situated and in order.
Now before we put on the muzzle, we're going to do to the eyes. For the eyes, you're going to take a single black band and you're going to loop it around your hook four times. One, two, three, four. Then take a white band and you're going to loop around the black band. So we're going to loop this, put it behind the black band and we're going to put one loop on one side of the black band and then two loops on the other. So you have an eye like this. Push that down and then do that again. One, two, three, four. Even everything out so it looks nice and then There's one loop on that side and then two loops on the other side. Then take a brown band for the mountain lion, tan for Persian, and we're going to put all those loops and pull them onto that single brown band. Just start with the white ones, then go back and you're going to do the black ones. Then do the same thing on this side. Grab all the bands. Then you're going to put it on your loom. Now we're going to take one side of the eye band and we're going to put it on where the ears are, and then put the other side on where the other ear is. Then spread your eyes apart and take one side of that single band, and we're gonna, you're going to put it on this side, and then should there should be one side on the other, and then try and fix the eyes. It's a little bit easier when it's still on the loom, so they look nice. And then you can take your muzzle again and then you should see that there are once you have so it should your muzzle will probably just look like this but you're gonna separate it between the black the the brown and the other black so now take those black bands and you're gonna wrap them around this peg Take the brown bands and you're going to wrap them around the middle peg in the center of the head. And then take the last set and you're going to wrap it around there. Then make sure that everything's connected. And then go underneath here, grab those two brown bands. And you, what you're going to want to do is take a hook and just kind of swirl it through that peg and release some of the tension. Same thing on the other side. Like so. And then you can just do that last two bands in the middle, but be careful not to grab the part that the eye was covering. Or you should only grab the top bottom two bands. And then Go into here, grab those two bands, and you these are definitely going to break if you pull them. So you're going to have to slowly start to pull this out. This is just so tight. Once you think you have enough, then loop it back on to there and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So if you might want to turn your loom around to get a better view. Make sure you get both of the bands.
then release some of the tension. And pull a little bit more in, and then put that on there. Now, what I like to do is I like to take two bands in case one of the holding bands breaks. I mean the um, slip knot band. So go under here through that top peg and you're gonna grab those two bands and then pull them through there and then put this loop through this one to make a slip knot. And then pull it. Now let's take this off the loom. Once you have part of this done, you can take them off like that. And now this, he looks a little bit big right now, but that'll, um, he'll tighten up uh, if you leave him for a few hours or overnight. Push the eyes through. Try and lift up the muzzle. And then what I like to do is take one of the slip knot bands, wrap it around the ear, then twist it, and wrap it around it again, and do the same thing on the other side. Wrap it around there, twist, wrap around again. Just like that, so just make sure that he looks nice. And there is either your mountain lion or Persian. Please remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Liking and subscribing really helps us out and gives us encouragement to make more videos. And then comment on what Pokemon or animal you would like next. See you next time for the next tutorial.